without further ado, let's just start playing it. Um, you know, we're pretty far in. We just beat two bosses, two bears, two giant bears. I wasted a lot of bullets on those bears, not knowing how to sh kill them. The idea was to get them to stand on their hind legs. Um, I still don't know how I was able to get them to stand on their hind legs. They just did it after a while, and I was able to shoot them. Um, I don't know what triggered that. That's what I'm trying to say. And and it made for a very long battle, needless battle, in, in the last stream. So, but besides all that, I'm hoping everybody's having a good weekend. Hopefully, you're all having some fun. I went to a retro TV and horror convention yesterday. One that I go to almost every year. That was pretty good. Today it's raining out, so what better way of spending it by playing games? It's gonna be raining all day today. Tomorrow I gotta travel. Hopefully it's not raining too hard. Okay, this is our buddy Abdul. He saves the game for us. We did find Victoria. Victoria is our friend who invited us to the museum before Total Chaos broke out here. Um, she is alive and well. So I think we need to go back to the library. I think that's where we're at. We go back to the library. He asked us to go back to the library. Uh, the yellow mister... We got the pistol, the bullets. Are we supposed to go back to the library? Yeah, we are supposed to go back to the library. Okay, so we got to find our way back there. I should probably go to where Victoria is. MSC go! Hi, Nick and chat. Been a while. MSC go, how are you doing? Yes, it's been a while. Hope all is well. Good to see you. Hope all is good. See if we could open this door again. Yes, oh, now I remember. In the library, we gotta do something with a clock. There's a clock there. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass. Your ass better call somebody! How's it going, DRS? Welcome, guys, to the channel. We're playing this wonderful game on the makers of Let's Play with the Teletubbies, PS1 title. That was the game they made before this one, apparently. It was interesting enough. Amasigo, also, thank you for the sub. Subscribe for 25 months. That is awesome. I truly appreciate it. You're a wonderful person for doing that. I know you haven't been here for a while too, so much appreciated. I can't talk to Victoria. We gotta go do our task. I think that's basically it. Is there an alternate way to the library from here? What was that other? Doing well, have been busy playing games a lot, especially Baldur's Gate 3, I could imagine. I can imagine. Hoping to upgrade my PC at some point so I could play that. And a whole load of other games I want to play, but Baldur's Gate 3 would be priority. Okay, this opens, but I can't go that way because of the smoke. This opens too. Why didn't I try this last stream? Yeah, we'll see if there's any good deals this this holiday season. Maybe I'll pick something up finally. I know we need to go to the library. Backtracking is one thing, but all right, we got past that. Yellow smoke poisons you. Curses you. 
behind this door. Oh, this brings us back to the library. That makes things easier. Look at this. I think I didn't go all the way around the other way. That would have not been helpful. I wasted half the stream trying to find the library. So to bring everybody up to speed, those of you who are seeing this for the first time, um, thief broke into the museum, tried to steal the Isis statue that was on display, had a little eyeball on it. He took the eyeball, the statue dropped to the floor, it released a curse. The curse is the yellow smoke. The yellow smoke turns everybody into zombies. We need to figure out what's going on with this curse, get rid of it. I have to find Victoria, found her. Pretty much now we need to get out of here. Oh god. Oh god, I got, got no. A whole bunch of these guys. Let's not shoot them so we could save ammo. We wasted too much ammo on the bears. Not gonna be good. All right, one down. Get up. I think there's a third one, and that's problematic. One health item. Use it. So I I do think it's a good thing I watched the review this morning of the game finally. Because it mentions that you can run out of space in your inventory. So when you do that, you have to go all the way back to Abdul. so that you can hand them some items, and he'll save them for you. Abdul's kind of like the uh, item boxes in Resident Evil. Not only does he save the game, he holds the items for you. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Probably get rid of him. Combat skills are getting better. Not saying much. It has stopped, and there is a small crack in the glass case. The hands read A26. Um, oh, we gotta put the item in here. That Victoria gave us. You found a scrap of paper. Do you wish to take it? Yes. You have taken the torn scrap of paper. Seven right, four left, 16... No, six left. So this is the combination to a safe that we saw earlier. I don't know... Safe might be here. In this library. We got part of the combination last time. Should have the other part. Warning message, Victoria's notes. Here it is, I think. Ah. 13 left, 2 right, 6 right. Right then. I don't know why it's got a halo over it. 
Oh, because you could combine it? I guess we could combine it now. So that's the full combo. Let's find that safe. Let's open it and see what's inside. safe was next to Victoria's desk so why are we going this way another desk here isn't the safe back here somewhere no was it over here that just opens the door Come on, it's got to be in this area. Didn't even check their bodies. Ah, oh, here's the safe. Why is it here? Are they trying to steal it or something? What the heck? Locked. Uh, do I get to turn the combination to do this, or do I just need to apply the combination as an item? He just, that's all you need, the combination. He does the rest. Cursed. been cursed but now oh terry miss sutton goodness miss sutton there is no time to lose <laughs> there's no time to lose for what oh we're playing as victoria okay i knew you could play as victoria going into this so i guess we got to go save darian as victoria Use an empty slot. Hold on. Okay. Get the Darien. I, I don't know what else might be necessary. This isn't the way to Darien. I want to see what's here now that the curse has been lifted in this part. He's right there where that smoke is. Get to him. Climb down? Are you kidding me? No, she can't. Okay. Controls are a little janky. Sometimes it doesn't register that I'm trying to climb down. Pick up an item. Or use an item. Oh no.
Darian, wake up. Wake up. Darian. I know you can hear me. I must go and get help. Be strong, Darian. Okay, we need to go get help. I don't know who's going to help us, though. Yeah, it, it's it's quite a cool game concept. It's You're right. It's Resident Evil meets Old Curses meets Egyptian lore and, and whatnot. So I really wanted to play this. And while it's not the best of games, it's clearly pretty good. Um, Story-wise, it's just, you know... Could have been more refined. Uh, I didn't go through the entire review. I only went through the first 10 minutes. It's on. I put it on the Discord. So if you want to catch it on um, the Discord. But basically, they explain to you that the game is somewhat janky. Um, the development team, this was their first serious game. They only did a Bob the Builder game and a Teletubbies game before this, so this was like their first project and they were getting to learn how to make these type of games, I guess. I don't know what they've done since, but um, the review said it was, you know, exactly what I said. It, it's got a good concept, good story, and, you know, it's got some game-breaking bugs, apparently, which I didn't know about, so hopefully we don't run into them so we don't soft lock ourselves but we'll see and they were playing the GOG version the PC version so maybe the PS2 and the Xbox version are better but I want to really see this through March 4th 1869 it's four years since the wretched expedition four years in which I have struggled to find a cure for the madness which hinders my work Four year, um, but as with all, Isis provides the answers. She introduced medicine to the world. She will provide an answer now. Well, Teletubbies are hard to me, at least. You know, I'm going to play that Teletubbies game. I'm going to stream it. Just to say I played one of the other games the developers made. So maybe we'll stream it for Halloween next year. We'll see. It is fruitless to try and convince the barbarians in this hellish... Oh, come on. In this hellish hospital of its worth, their methods in this age of science sicken me further. And still, they claim it is I who is mad. Without their assistance, I fear I will never know for sure whether my theory is correct. Yet in my heart, I know it is Isis's power was such that she affected all around her. All the evidence showed that th she was the architect of that accursed tomb, and I believe that she imbued it with her power. The very soil of that accursed place may contain enough of her spirit to cure the those afflicted, or at least reverse its effect until the evil has been banished forever. Yes, it must be the answer. If I can get at my possessions, I could perhaps recover some of the soil. We need the soil, apparently, in which they were packed. I shall request of Abdul that she bring some to me. April 7th, 1869. As ever, Abdul has proven himself a loyal friend. He has reinvented for me a small sample of the soil which used to protect the artifacts during their journey. Soil taken from the very place where Isis once summoned her powers. I had to take every precaution to conceal it from the staff here at the asylum. Their insistence that I keep none of my equipment meant I had to wait until I could use a wooden spoon and the bowl in which my evening gruel was delivered to grind the rough soil. That might have been what we just picked up. Into something a little more palatable, mixing with water, created a foul concoction. Yet I am no doubt that my gamble has been successful. Got to support great devs. I, I mean, they've made games since, I just don't know um, which games. So I want to check out what else they've done in their library. Uh, the fever has receded. I am able to think much more clearly, yet most not arouse the suspicions of the administrators here. 
I have no idea how long the effects will last, yet providing they enable me to continue my research in secret, they all may not have been in vain. Okay. So what do we have? She's starting with all new items. And it looks like we only have this. We don't even have a weapon. So that's not good. Paint trunk of a dry, crumbly substance. Something else here, too. You have found the disease in medical exhibition key. Do you wish to take it? Yes. So, this is going to be a bit problematic because she has no weapon and we're going to a whole new area. Um, go back to Abdul and talk to him. Just save it in case. I hope I don't have to redo this. I know we can share items between the two by giving them to Abdul. But I did not know if I should have shared anything before actually coming down here. Could have given like the rifle maybe to her. Okay. Go back to Abdul. There's supposed to be a crossbow in this game too. We haven't picked it up. There are arrows. We have the arrows, but not the crossbow. Something like that. Here he is. Got nothing to say. Just save the game. That's it. Dude, you didn't have a weapon you could give me? Ah, saved over that. I can't save over save two, because we might have to restart from there. Let's see. Alright. What was down this way? God, no, I have no clue where we are, and there's zombies. We're gonna vomit all over her. Oh, well, that's new. Now she's cursed. Run through. Please, there's health here. Pick it up. I don't know what this is. This seems like some kind of puzzle that we don't need to do yet. Ah, get up. What we need to open is over here. There's a bucket on the floor as well. Keyword. Yes. We're in the sciences here. Good. We can cure the poison with this. So, the health meter in the upper left-hand corner, that little part that's yellow on the bottom, I didn't know what that was. Apparently that tells you how much you're cursed and how fast your um, health will be affected by the curse. So in that case, there was only a little bit of yellow showing, so it wasn't really going to kill us quickly. But when there's a lot of yellow there, you're going to die in like seconds, so got to keep that in mind. It says half man, half toad from Patagonia. Jeez. 
the heck is that? Okay. I thought maybe we could read that book. More help? Is that what this is? No. Nothing? Nothing. Apparently the devs also made Sabrina the Teenage Witch for the PS1. Yeah, the Teletubbies game they made was for the PS1 and I think Bob the Builder might have been for the PS1. We're going to play all their games. Watch. It is encrusted with an ancient blood, evidently. I saw action in a number of hasty operations. I saw action in a number of hasty operations. Let's take this. You read about the exhibit which details the amazing advances made in medicine in the 1800s. Okay. This. PS1 Sabrina is, while well, it's a game. Have you played a DRS? I will stick to Teletubbies instead. Still don't have that key, right? I need a weapon. If I don't have a weapon here, it's gonna be pointless. Oh, Darian's dying. Hurry up. We found the pistol and mortar. Do you wish to take it? Okay, so do we combine that with what we found in the other room? Yes. There you go. Means a fine powder. Is that the solution? We bring that to Darian and he's okay? I hope so. I've seen it played at one time. I was going for a full Sabrina set. I've got all the Game Boy games. Wow. That's serious. It's a good way to collect, just take a franchise and, and use it that way. Like, just collect it. You found the bucket of water, do you wish to take it? Yes. Let me guess, this gets combined too? Oh, something happened. Started as a joke, but I'm done. Okay. You, you think it's a joke, I'm gonna not play the Teletubbies game, but I will. Oh no. He hit her? Thinking she was a, uh, a mummy? Miss Sutton. Darian. He attacked me. His eyes, they were full of pure hatred. It was as though he didn't even know me. Please be calm, Miss Sutton. It is not Darian who attacks you, it is the curse attacking you. You see, he is quiet now. He fights the curse with all his strength just like his father did, but he cannot stop it forever. Well, good thing we have the cure, supposedly. Uh, save the game. Let's try to heal him. Do I wish to access Divid Darian's inventory? No, right? I want to access ours. I'm gonna give her some kind of bullet or and a weapon. What does she have? She has like 89 bullets. Okay, that's good. She needs a weapon. Probably the rifle. 
If it's ever added to your poll, I'll do everything in my power to make it win. Well, I gotta get back to polling. At some point, I'll throw it up there. Let's see if we can actually beat this game first. If we beat this game, I'll put it on a future poll. How's that? Didn't we pick something up to cure him with? We're in his inventory. What? No, I'm confused here. Because... I want her inventory. Yeah, there we go. So, let's give her the gun. Can we do this? Flamethrower I don't like. I'm gonna use a revolver and give her the rifle. And take that. There were 30 bullets. Ah, make it 40. There's also made a Doctor Who game for the Wii. Doctor Who on the Wii? It might have been a non-American release. I'll have to check that out. I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan, but when they rebooted the show on BBC, I watched like the first four seasons of it. It was pretty good. And I just kind of lost interest, but they have range indeed. They do. Alright, I think we combine this with the medicine? No, I don't want to give it to him. Take that back. We need to give it to him, not hand it to him. No, I don't want to access his inventory. I want to use this. Can't use it. Let's talk to Abdul. Abdul, what do you have for me? Nothing. I feel like we have the medicine. I just can't combine it. Look at the walker. Pick up the strange artifact that contains the crumbly soil. We got that. Pick up the key. We got that. Go back upstairs along the balcony. Hail of water we got. Arafin container, I could care less about. Darien attacks Victoria, but it seems to be only in both their subconscious. Victoria faints. When she comes around, Abdul is standing there. We're back in the library. Find the soil from the artifact with the mortar and pestle. Then combine the bucket with the mortar, with the water. The bucket of water with the mortar and pestle and soil. Standing over Darien and in your inventory, press F1. So we did everything we were supposed to do. It's just. It's just that we didn't actually use this.
There we go. I have to get closer to him. Very good, Miss Sutton. We must let Mr. Dane rest now. The cure will take some time to be fully effective. I shall watch over him for now. And I think it best if we do not tell him what happened during his fever. It would upset him greatly to know that you almost came to great harm by his hand. Miss Sutton, I hope you now appreciate the power that your prize exhibit possesses. And I need not point out the grave consequences should it escape our grasp completely this evening. I have heard from the staff that a known thief, the Shah, has been seen in the museum. The Shah. With the police presence, it is unlikely he has yet made his escape, so we may not be too late to recover the Eye of Isis. I am told that Lashar was last spotted on the main stairs, north of the atrium. Main stairs north of the atrium. We know that area very well. Get over there. Probably save it again. I'll leave that just in case. Getting to the atrium is not a problem, I think. I think, um, this way? No, not this way. The door by the staircase, I think that leads back that way. Actually put the gun in her hand, in case we need to use it. No! Let's open that door. So we do have a map, but as you can tell, it's pretty much useless. You can't scroll it to see what's ahead of you. You can only see what's in the immediate area. Not very helpful. And now we're back on the first floor of the library. I thought this was going to lead us to the atrium. I hope this isn't blocked by the yellow smoke. I think this is the quickest way out. bodies we've already searched. What's in here? Torture exhibit. Okay. No, we've been there on that. Probably a longer way to get to the atrium, but and the main staircase. Um library. Yeah, here we are. The atrium's right on the other side of this door. There's the guy who stole the eye. 
Face after. Where you want? Clearly, he did not go that way. He went the other way. On, get up there. There he is. was the reigning monarch Victoria her stony gaze it's ironic our name is Victoria it takes place in Victorian London 1860s I think 1869 I think to be certain did the disease and medicine exhibit all right let's just go that way Fighting him? And as you can see with the camera, it's not perfect, but... Gotta reload. Oh god, he killed Victoria. Did he kill her? This guy's gonna kill her. See the weird aiming mechanic that they have. Those points have to come together and then you can sh pretty much shoot. Found ya. Oh god. Can't run while she's reloading, fortunately. Bullets, nice. That's what we need. I know he went that way, but I'm gonna try this door one more time, and I think there's something on the floor right here where we got the bucket from. It's like flickering right there. Maybe not. It's going for the door. Yeah, maybe there's nothing there. What are these things? The tissue has been discolored by the strong preservative in which it was placed it is a most unsettling sight these are like bodies they found in a tomb sorry guys He's fighting the mummy? No, he left. And the mummy's just standing there. Great. Got its head off. We could target different body parts in this. Good, she didn't get poisoned. 
You got a healing item. Stand back. What's this? This is like part of. Oh, that's his face. We blew off his face. Where did he go? This door? No. The right way? Yes, it is. Okay, let's see what's on the other side of this door. Oh, drop the crossbow. <sighs> He's working for them. Look at that. There's a statue. So close to getting that statue. Oh, it's our friend Kimball. Sorry, over to the atrium. I'll try and contact the police. Okay, we're fine now. We're we're cured. Let's go and um, get Victoria. That's a nice crossbow now. I'll replace the rifle in our inventory. I might as well give this away. I, uh, I don't even know how to reload it. The chat's trademark weapon, silent and deadly, it bears no trace of its owner. Not even a fingerprint. It's got three arrows, that's all. Nice. Are these arrows? What is that? Yeah, we don't want to go back there. You have found some standard crossbow bolts. You wish to take them, yes. Talk to him? Over to the atrium. I'll try and contact the police. Okay. Atrium it is. This way. Something on this desk? No, it wasn't. Uh, wrong way, that takes us upstairs. Need the door on this end.
Then we go this way. Now I think we just go up the stairs, right? On this side, possibly. Again, the map is useless in this game, so. Well, I'm not using it. Okay, so she's here. Well, she might have been kidnapped. Statues on the floor here. You have found the Eye of Isis. Do you wish to take it? Yes. Oh, zombified worker. Two of them. Oh no! He killed Kemble. Oh great, there's like four of them, three or four of them here. down. What should we have in terms of bullets? 49 only. Okay. So we gotta make do. This game is being played on normal, by the way, so... It's not like they're giving us extra bullets or anything. Bullets should not run out. Wait till that dissipates, we'll check his body, and then I believe there is one more. They don't like that we picked up the statue, right? to go in there either. Oh, they're downstairs. There there are two more. Okay. Go down there. Kill them. There's health items around them too. And I don't think Kimball's surviving that, so... Him? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Killed them both. Go see if Kimball somehow magically is still alive. Doubt it. We just loot his body. He took his lover. But no comment is made about him. It's, you search the body but find nothing useful. Poor guy died and we just like looted him. That's all we did. The lever. The lever for. Let us see. Uh, 
uh, rescuing Victoria. Take a right and go downstairs until you come to the first elevator you used. So we're going back to the first elevator. It will not open. Well, then we're not going to the elevator. This is not a right. This is, to me, a left. I don't think the elevator was by the torture exhibit. Is this it? Of course not. What is a little problematic with this game it's the fact that you don't know where directions are like you lose your sense of direction easily and they only give you like a piece of the map at all times so you can't really use it to find anything worthwhile the way it is This is closed. I don't understand. Torture exhibit. Okay. Even if we went into the torture exhibit. We have to do this from upstairs. I know the elevator they're talking about. This apparently doesn't take us there. Thought it would, because this door is locked. I want him to read the sign. Exit to street level. Okay, so that's why we can't go that way. We're not out of here yet. This is where we came in from, right? It's locked. Okay. Locked as well. Oh my goodness, there's no way out. The main staircase. Okay, I'm gonna go through the main staircase and I'm hopefully gonna find the elevator. All we need. This way? Yeah, at least they lock the doors so we don't aimlessly wander into them and go too far off the path, but still. Down here.
Hall of Remembrance. God, there's more than two. Better off just clubbing them. Get up, get up, get up. Here's the elevator, okay. Once you see enemies, you know you're going the right way. We have so many items in our possession, I don't know how we're gonna be able to use this. How to use these. The elevator handle. That'll take one item out of our slot. I'm worried now that we might have too many items and we can't grab any of the ones that we actually need. Hope not. Will not open because we need to use this. There's no power running to this elevator. Someone has removed the control lever. Um, something's over here. This is where we use the lever. Okay. Sweet. Not sweet. Let's try the crossbow. Crossbow gets him in three shots. Not bad. Not bad. Reload it. There we go. Go into the basement. New little area, the basement. As you can see, the elevator filled with this yellow smoke. There goes some more. We're not able to get out of here with the elevator. This item hunt. There's going to be um, a little sparkle sometimes when you see the right item. Pick up. Nothing useful. I like when I find ammo on them. 
They give you tons of ammo in this game, at least in normal mode. Not a bad thing. So this is close to the end of chapter one. I'm hoping there isn't a boss, but more than likely there might be one. The only boss we've fought so far are the bears. They were a pain. Not bad. We're making progress. I want to get to the end of chapter 2 by this end of the stream. We are referring to a walkthrough when we can. Or when we need to. There's another door. I don't know if it was, we were able to open it on the other side. Smelling salts? I'll take it. Creaky floor. Nothing else. Sink. And the good question is, where's Abdul? Gonna have to save here at some point. Go back to that door we missed before we go any further. No door should be left unopened. Hey, Alex. Happy Sunday. Rats. Got rats all over the place. I'm good, I'm good. Went to the uh, retro TV and horror convention I mentioned yesterday and to hung out, hang out with some friends who I hadn't seen since April now. It's been that kind of year. But there was another door here. There isn't. Oh, it's that. Okay. No, that's the way we went in. So what's here? Hold on. I'm all confused. Oh, okay. That's 